Tonight, her final journey back to Buckingham Palace. Queen Elizabeth's coffin greeted by crowds there tonight after it was taken by plane to the British capital from Scotland. Tomorrow, the Queen's coffin will begin a four-day period of lying in state ahead of Monday's funeral. CBS 2's Christine Johnson reports from London. Tomorrow, this area behind me will be filled with people waiting to see the coffin of Queen Elizabeth inside Westminster Hall. But tonight, the Queen remains at Buckingham Palace for one final night. The Royal Air Force plane carrying Queen Elizabeth landed outside London this evening. Princess Anne escorting her mother's body every step of the way. Despite the rain, many gathered here to witness the historic moment. Just to pay my respects to the Queen uh, for everything she's done for our country. The King and Queen consort joined the royal family as the coffin was placed in the bow room where a vigil will be held overnight. Tomorrow, the Queen's body will be moved to Westminster Hall where she will lie in state and mourners have already begun camping out. We came la last night, we've been sleeping here. Whether it's cold or not, we don't mind. If you don't love, love somebody, you won't do anything for anyone. Earlier today, King Charles III made his first trip as monarch to Northern Ireland. A 21-gun salute marked his arrival. The British monarchy has a complicated history in Northern Ireland, where decades of violence had marked divisions between Protestant Unionist and Catholic Nationalists. The king acknowledged that split. My mother felt deeply, I know, the significance of the role she herself played in bringing together those whom history had separated and in extending a hand to make possible the healing of long-held hurts. The King and Queen Consort also attended a service of reflection for Queen Elizabeth at St. Anne's Cathedral in Belfast. And we are expecting a very somber and poignant procession when the Queen leaves Buckingham Palace one final time. Every detail of this event has been planned down to the second. The Queen will leave Buckingham Palace one final time at 2.22 local time. That is 9.22 in New York. And here's a look at the route. The procession will take her from Buckingham Palace and arrive at Westminster Hall 38 minutes later. The streets along the route are expected to be packed with people as she makes her way to Lion State. And the public will have four days to pay their respects. These queues will be going 24 hours a day. Reporting from London, Christine Johnson, CBS2 News. Stay with CBS2 and CBS News New York for complete coverage of the death of Queen Elizabeth. Tomorrow, look for a special report here on CBS2 as the Queen's coffin is taken to the Palace of Westminster. That's expected to start at 9 a.m.